Hello everyone and welcome back to Vlad's Place and thank you all for following our YouTube videos on how to take care of vines. It's beginning of April and this is a time of the year when vines start shooting new sprouts rapidly. I'm spending a day in my vineyard with my friend Perfecto who will teach me how to properly thin the overgrow to ensure that we have a lot of fruit for the next season and that we allow a maximum growth of uh, future vines and obviously the fruit itself. As you can see, uh, the first growth is pretty lush, meaning that vines will start growing in many different places. And during this early stage, which is usually uh, end of March, beginning of April, you're gonna see a lot of new um, uh, shoots coming from the vine. Now the question is which ones do we want to keep and which ones do we take out? So in this case we have a whole bunch of different wines growing out of the one spot. So we're gonna take a time to kind of evaluate which ones we want to get rid of and which ones we're keeping. So Perfecto, sí. look at this. There, there are lots of them here. Okay, okay. all the little ones. Okay, they're going... okay. Okay. Okay, so we're leaving just sí. the big ones. How many do we want to leave? Okay, este también se puede limpiar. Está muy bien. Pequeños. Pequeños. Ahí está. Este aquí también hay que limpiarlo. Limpiar esto. Okay, so basically three. And now they have a lot of air in between them. I'm going to go on the other side and take out the little ones too. Okay, should we leave one here in between? Just one? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Let's look at some other ones here. Okay, Perfecto saying this one too. Okay. Yes. And so Perfecto was telling me that sometimes these lower lines, we kind of want to leave them because we want them to get strong. So by the next year, when we come back to prune the vineyard, we will prune it here. And so all of this will go out and we're going to start close to the main a vine again so we're gonna keep this one here so it, that it can grow for the next year and this year we're gonna get the grapes off of this area and some off of this area as well but next following the um, following spring we are gonna cut it here and start start the new main vine out of this one okay so basically pick the three strongest ones to leave to grow and um, he also mentioned in between each vine you want to have about six inches six inches. six inches okay so this one i don't know how good you can see it but we have some vines going on the bottom okay let's see there's another one here this one too and now we have three this is this looks good i don't know if you can see it one two three okay and look the, um, the grapes are already forming, so this is this is looking good. All right, let's just repeat that again. This one is pretty big here. This one has four strong wines growing, so I would say that we uh, let's take this one because it's a little bit lower. Okay, okay this is another great example where Perfecto was showing me uh, that um, that uh, what he showed us earlier is how you want to keep the fresh vines closer to the mother vine meaning that we are saving this one this year we're going to let this one go up we will uh, let this part come to fruitation but next year again we are going to cut it here so that we have a, um, a new shoot close to the main vine so again approximately about three strong vines one two three and uh, basically all you need to do is to clean anything that's on the bottom everything that's growing downward clean that and um, make sure that uh, the vines have enough air going through them and um, basically that's that's that uh, one thing well, one thing also to keep in mind and uh, something that uh, perfecto just showed me is um, during the early spring there's always a chance that weather can suddenly change and um, these vines are, are very delicate at this stage, so they can easily freeze. So his suggestion is uh, 
although you should leave three vines growing every here and there leave a little extra just in case uh, the weather changes also uh, wind is a big issue for young vines because if you get a lot of air which we do around here the wind can break some of these branches so you want to make sure as you are thinning you keep in mind on average to keep three strong vines and every here and there there you might leave just a few extra as a security cushion in case the weather changes or the winds come and knock some of these vines so it's pretty simple and i hope um, that we were able to explain it and show it to you um, i will continue to film as perfecto works just to show you you know what's um, the simplicity basically of eliminating the vines that grow on the bottom or the small shoots or the shoots that are just randomly growing and keeping the uh, nutrition focused on the main lines. I hope this all makes sense and I hope that this video is helpful to you. However, uh, if it doesn't, I would suggest to do some more research and check other YouTube videos. Just don't get frustrated because it takes time to learn all this stuff. This is my seventh year and I am still learning too. As you are thinning, you also want to take away these huge leaves because uh, within a week or two, we're going to come back and we're going to spray these vines. And so you have to ensure that the spraying will penetrate in the lower part and the upper part of the plant. So he's going through the vineyard and he's taking away these big leaves. Uh, and again, that's because we want to, when we spray, we want to make sure that the chemicals will penetrate uh, where they're supposed to go. He also mentioned that uh, to be careful because you don't want to strip too much, too many of these big leaves because first they're feeding the plant and uh, they're absorbing the en sun energy, taking it to the roots and helping plant grow. And another thing is, especially in our uh, uh, climate, the weather changes quickly and we're going to go quickly from cool weather to hot weather and these leaves are designed to not just to generate the energy but also to protect the plant and the fruit from burning so as you thin the bottom be careful not to over thin and not to go too far up because the plant needs these leaves for protection and for food so right now we're just taking big leaves from the bottom when we spray the spray will be able to penetrate um, uh, throughout the plant and then um, we are preserving the upper big leaves if you like to learn together with us i would suggest to subscribe so that when we follow up with the next video you can stay in tune and learn together with us all the steps on taking care of vines these leaves are full of nutrition they're young and lush so i'm not gonna waste them i'm gonna take them to my chickens and we're gonna recycle them into healthy eggs thank you for spending time with me today and thank you for learning together with us my name is vlada vladik and i am a founder of a charitable organization called vlada seeds of life whose mission is reconnecting families and communities big part of my charitable work is focused specifically on teaching young families and kids important life skills like growing their own food and learning how to prepare it. Passing on these important life skills onto younger generations is more important than ever. Not only do we need to equip future generations with these important life skills, but we also need to bring youth back to nature and help kids reconnect with the world around them for the sake of their emotional, mental, and spiritual health. You can follow our work and progress by subscribing to our channel and also by keeping an eye on your public access television station for our family program called Cooking and Kids. To find out more about my charity, please visit vladavi.com. We would love to hear from you, so send us your notes and let us know if you too would like to get involved. Thank you, and we'll see you soon again.